Hello Aquarians and cross watchers. Welcome to your reading. So I'm going to do a tarot reading. I don't know what's going to come up. I'm going to pull from the tea leaf oracle. A lot of different uh, cards which can come out here. I'm going to clarify them with my mini tarot deck. So I'm going to do an oracle part of the reading and then I'll do a tarot part of the reading. I have two tarot decks and then I'll close out with a uh, bonus card, a spirit animal oracle card. So I don't know what's going to come out. Keep in mind, probably is something that's on your mind or close to your mind. Could be something that comes out here. Um, also, if things seem different on the channel, you might want to watch the update because things are different. All right. A lot of messages are coming out here. If you're a cross watcher watching for an Aquarian, roles can be reversed. Just reading the energy surrounding the Aquarians who are on or near this frequency. All right, a lot of messages out. We have I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. We have wind chimes, peace and harmony. We have bat, take care of enemies who are working against you. We have excitement. We have chariot, opportunity or windfall. We have happiness. We have family wishes come true. We have cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life, and we have rat, someone working against you. So, not every message may um, apply, so just keep in mind, I'm going to clarify these real quick, and you're going to know, you're going to, you're going to know, you're going to know. <laughs> so, let's clarify first, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Now, for some of you, maybe every one of these messages are going to apply, but for some of you, maybe it's just one or two. Tell me about I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. What is that trying to tell us here for this reading? Trust your intuition. Right here. Justice. It's a Libra energy, okay, but it's energy, it's Venus energy, but it's also an action, right? Um, based on your intuition, you're going to act. You're going to put something into motion, all right? And whatever it is, it's going to be fair, all right? It's going to be fair to yourself and fair to others. So it's a very noble action. Trust your intuition if you're being guided in a noble kind of way. Um, keep that in mind. What is it you're being guided to do as well, right? That's going to help you know if it's the right thing or not. How does it align with your integrity and your morals? Tell me about wind chimes, peace and harmony. Also keep in mind this energy can be external to you. This can be somebody who is being guided to come in um, and have action toward you. So keep in mind it's the energy around this. Tell me about wind chimes. All right. So wind chimes we have a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we have a four of wands reverse and it says peace and harmony. So, for me, this peace and harmony is um, making your surroundings at home a better place. You might be making a peaceful space. You might be making an inviting space. You might be decorating a what we call spring cleaning. doesn't matter what time of year. That can happen at any time. But I really feel with the Queen of Pentacles, because the Queen of Pentacles, she takes care or he takes care of her or his environment. And it's talking about peace and tranquility. So, and the home is reversed. So, I feel that some of you are making home improvement changes to make your life more peaceful, to make your space more peaceful, um, to make it more conducive to what it is that you want. Okay. Um, that's what I really feel like mood, atmosphere type of stuff. Tell me about wishes. Family wishes come true. Maybe even some are getting ready for. Um, when family comes over or an event, okay, where there's going to be people and it's sort of like getting things in order. Tell me about well. We have Ace of Wands. So for some of you, whatever it is you've been wishing for, okay, yeah, it's, it, it's a great big yes, all right? Family wishes, whatever you wished upon. You wished upon, you know, you want a child. 
That ace of wands would be saying is a very strong opportunity for that to come in. That's a, this is passion. This is drive. This is intensity. Okay. Um, and it's related to family. So whatever family wish you wanted, it's about ready to come through and come to fruition. Not for everyone. It's not about um, creating a child, but for some, it is about expansion. Okay. That there is an expansion coming to the family, maybe through child, grandchild, uh, pets or whatever. But anyway, to the family, a wish that you wanted with the family is coming true. Big yes right there, okay? Big, big yes. Now, tell me about take care. Enemies are working against you. Take. Tell me about take care. Enemies are working against you. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That That is an opportunity, all right? So I feel... Because we have happiness and we have opportunity or windfall. So now I'm going to switch this over here. I feel that there is something that's coming in for you to get excited about. Whether it's an expansion to your family or an expansion to your wallet or an expansion to your life. Let's just say it like that. This is an expansion to your life. It's in a positive way. Um, but some there's an enemy, it says, that's working against you. So keep that in mind because this is something meant for you. Whatever this is, it's meant for you. This is, this is from heaven. This is from the divine. This is an ace of pentacles. It's an opportunity, but it has to be grown. It's the mustard seed that needs to be grown, watered, nurtured, so that it can turn into more and grow. So there's something here for you that's going to help you grow. Somebody doesn't want it, and maybe it has something to do with an alignment, all right? Something to do with children, something to do with a close connection. Tell me about happiness. Yes, this is a perfect card for that. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. This is a person who walks away. Everything is fine. The bills are paid. There's creature comforts, but we know there's something more out there that would make us happier. And we go towards it. We take a chance. We take a risk. So there is an opportunity, I feel, that's coming in doesn't matter if somebody wants it for you or not. It's a brand new beginning and opportunity. And I feel that you're going to go for it. You're going to go for it. And it's going to lead to a lot of happiness here. Tell me about Firecracker. It's excitement. Tell me about that. Tell me about Firecracker. Landed on happiness. And four pentacles. I heard surprise. I want to get another card. Yes, yeah, surprise. We've got the moon. There is something that's coming in. We have the moon reverse. It's going to be revealed to you here in the near future. There is something that it's it's being held back. Um, but you're going to have something to get very excited about. And right now, it's just being held back, but it will be revealed. We have the moon reverse. It will come to light in the three of wands. It will come. It will reveal itself. And also. Um, we have the magician behind that. So I do believe it's something that you manifested. Tell me about opportunity or windfall. Tell me about opportunity or windfall. Now we have here, it keep, every, all of these cards right here are landing on the happiness card. Okay. Go for this opportunity, especially if your intuition is guiding you to act. Because we have intuition an action if you're intuitively guided to act because if you're not your intuition is number one don't worry about tarot don't worry about what your friends and family say go on your intuition and if your intuition guides you to act this is all of these cards the carrot the firecracker and happiness are all going to happiness here and it's a it's a choice and we have the lovers it's in the reverse so you know, I did see the Six of Cups. Whatever this is, it aligns you with, I feel, a close connection or something that could potentially be a close connection. Um, but it, ultimately, it's a choice. So you have an opportunity, a windfall, something coming in. Someone may not want this for you, okay, if this all ties in together. But it's being held back. I don't know if it's a person or literally just the universe is holding it back, but it's coming in. 
And all of this leads to happiness. Abundance, windfall, something to get excited about. And it's saying, if you're guided to, go for it. Because it is going to lead to happiness. Now, like I said, we have these three cards that are kind of negative. This is, this is that energy that doesn't want it for you. All right. So we already know that the bad is an enemy working against you. Okay. This is someone who does not want you to have this opportunity. So we have cracked cup, dissatisfaction with life. Let's see who this is. Maybe there's an opportunity that um, gets taken from someone else and comes to you because this can be with anything. It can be with love, family, money, whatever, cracked cup. Opportunity can present itself any kind of way. We have, wow, yes, I just said that, wow. Literally what I said is what it is. <sighs> cracked cup. We have the devil in reverse. We have Aquarius in the upright. All right, this is the wish fulfillment card if we're not even talking about Aquarius. It's about something we wanted. Remember, wishing well. And because of that, there's the devil who's in reverse. That devil is karmic. It can be Capricorn. But it's a karmic energy that is out. It's a toxic energy that's out. That toxic energy could have been an energy that was working against you energetically, even if only through thoughts. And it's like saying... Somebody is dissatisfied with life, and I feel that it's, you're getting something. You're getting a wish here. If you're the one dissatisfied for, with life, that's about to change, okay? That's about to change very quickly here. Now we have a rat, someone working against you. So I have two cards of, I have two cards of somebody working against you. So for some of you, someone is not down uh, for you, someone does not want this for you, someone can't see this for you, whatever it is. Tell me about the rat. Tell me about the rat. It landed on the devil. Wow. And this new beginning. So there is a new beginning that someone's going to know that you're going to get it or that it's coming for you. Someone absolutely doesn't want it. All right. Um, Yeah, someone is trying to sabotage this, really, for you. Whatever this love is, this Ace of Cups, um, someone's been trying to just sort of um, delay things because Seven of Pentacles talks about timing and time and takes time, but something that didn't work out. So something that doesn't work out for somebody else, this is exactly what happens. Somebody gives you an offer. Somebody's generous with you but takes away from another person. And that person, I feel, is sort of against it. It's like if you get an opportunity or promotion over another person and the other person is like hating on it because they feel it was meant for them. And there is somebody who may talk on it. Um, if somebody, you know, this is very... Um, specific but I have to say it because I got the message if there's anybody who is um, going to have children um, there might be someone who's jealous about a person who can have a ch child or get pregnant and maybe maybe they can't or maybe um, you have the opportunity to have a child with somebody that they wanted to have a child with I don't know this that's a specific message and I'm gonna just leave it at that but for whatever this is, for most of you, this is a beautiful opportunity. It's something that you wished for. It's something that you wanted. And all of this leads to happiness. All of these cards, this card, um, this choice is going to lead to a lot of happiness. So let me do a quick tarot spread. And then we'll see what wants to come out. We'll see what wants to come out here. Show me what I need to see for this reading. I'm going to get into the tarot portion. Show me what I need to see for this reading. I'm going to clarify with the light seers. I'm going to pull uh, 10 cards. I'm thinking about in the future doing past, present, future spread and clarifying that way. Leave a comment if you're down with that or not. All right, page of pentacles starting off. All right, I'm guided to shuffle a little more. That came out. Ten cards. 
Christmas. Cast. Flip over. Self. All right. All right, King of Swords. So much for ten cards. This is this is probably why I'll start pulling cards from the top. All right. All right. So this is reiterating basically what the Oracle card said. All right, you're going to end up on top, no matter what. King of Swords, right here. You're going to end up on top. Maybe you and an earth sign, okay? Maybe there's somebody who has um, affluency, maybe some earth sign, maybe there's, um, you know, it's in the hope and the fear position. You might be doing something with that or making money with an earth sign, all right? Someone definitely doesn't like it. Anyway, it's about a conversation that leads to abundance, okay? That leads to a wish fulfillment. I really don't need to clarify this, but Page of Pentacles, it's a, it's a conversation here. Tell me about this, and it could be a, a, a small offer, an opportunity here that could change everything. All right. This is that. There's an offering, all right? Very small offering. There's some sort of uh, choice. Someone decides to reach out to communicate something like this about an offer, all right? Eight of Wands, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands and Eight of Wands. Things fall into place. There's forward movement when it comes to a conversation, so that's good. It's going to be very prosperous it's a wish fulfillment you know there's plenty to eat right there that person is very happy so tell me about this nine of cups this is a knight of cups clarifying the nine of cups there's something coming in there's an offer from something or someone who's going to be very helpful and beneficial to your life could be somebody who has um cancer in their chart it doesn't have to be all right but this is someone who um is going to be very helpful for what it is that you've been manifesting for your dreams to come true could be a younger soul all right a younger spirit tell me about this nine of pentacles but like i said they have affluency because you know they're king of pentacles and they are nine of pentacles they have everything that they need so this is a person who it's probably going to decide to reach out, all right, because we do have this conversation. This two of wands reverse is making that choice, all right. Recent past is the empress. The empress is Venus energy. It's divine feminine. It's the mother. It is the one who attracts abundance, okay? So maybe this is an opportunity, I feel. If you're in the yin energy, you've attracted this opportunity to you. You've definitely attracted this opportunity, and it's a very fruitful one, because the bottom of the deck here, we have success. And there's a famous person, or there's a person well-known in their community, and I feel they make an offer, and I feel that it's going to be very successful for you, because now here's the Four of Pentacles reverse, where we had the Four of Pentacles uh, that came out to clarify this, being held from you, that offer. Tell me about the Empress. Yeah. So this is going to take you out of a place of lack, okay? Or you've attracted this offer. So if you've, if you've been having any sort of money situations, this is going to bring money to you, all right? This is going to take you out of a place of lack. Whatever this offer is, yeah. Because we have an exchange of money, and this is something you wanted. So I feel like 
whatever you have manifested, it's about ready to come and get you. Okay, <laughs> whatever you manifest, it's about ready to come and snatch you up. All right, tell me about what crowns this. We have a lot of uh, worry and anxiety. Um, we have the Queen of Swords reverse and the Nine of Wands reverse. Whatever it is, and I don't know who this is, but somebody has a lot of anxiety on their mind when this person and you connect to make money or do whatever this is. Somebody has a lot of anxiety about it, but I feel that it's I feel that it's destined because you're the one on top here, Aquarius, okay? And we have right below you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have um, the King of Pentacles is the one who has the money, the financier to do this. Somebody's very worried about this, though. Someone really doesn't want it. And that came out in the Oracle reading. Somebody does not want this. They're worried. Now, maybe it's going to reveal itself why they're worried. Tell me about what crowns this. Why are they worried? Why are they not wanting this? Why are they not liking this? Could be a Libra involved. But the Queen of Swords energy, reverse, it's a... It's a very negative energy, and it has to do with you and this, you know, like, I feel like someone even gets the evil eye here, okay? Somebody, somebody might literally, or someone being watched, all right? They know they're being watched, but whatever, let's get on with it. Tell me about what crowns this. Now we have Leo energy. Um, somebody doesn't want this, all right? There's a connection. It looks like it'll be a money connection. It'll be a good connection for you and a good connection for the other person. It's a wish fulfillment. It's something that's been a wish fulfillment. Now, keep in mind, if it's a family wish, that is all, that's what's on the table here because that came out. A family wish is going to be fulfilled, but somebody does not want, a, want you to unite with this person, work with this person, live with this person. Someone is very threatened by this. This is the home, and it's, it's in the reverse. Because this is how you and this person are going to get along. You see how those two get along? That's what it's going to be like. But it's in the reverse. Now this is Leo energy. It's the sun. It's in reverse. There is a person very worried here. Very, very worried about you and another energy connecting. But um, it looks like it's going to happen anyway. All right. Tell me about the near future. Tell me about the near future. This is a manifestation in progress. I just heard a manifestation in progress. I might name it that. I don't know. We have, I mean, look at it. This is happening. This is the goal. This is the manifestation in progress. Someone is about ready to get walked away from. And someone doesn't like that and it doesn't mean they're getting walked away from because they're in a relationship like i said if it has to do with work somebody may not get the offer all right tell me about the near future but it's great for you <laughs> it's a nine of cups for you look you got the nine of cups twice look help is on the way my dears and you don't know it but help is on the way Help is on the way. You're going to enjoy this. Uh, it's, it's, um, we have Taurus, excuse me, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn there, but we have Virgo, um, Gemini energy here. It's also communication, ending off with your own sign, Aquarius, but it's also a communication sign. It's also even like if there's any contracts involved, because we did have uh, Libra and Justice come out over here. So something could even be contract new beginning okay it's a new beginning we take a leap of faith we take a leap of faith because it is what we wanted so we just have to trust that it's going in the direction we want it to go and tell me about this there you go ace of pentacles ace of pentacles and This opportunity, this new beginning, this new contract even, strong contract energy that you have coming in, it's a tower for somebody else. 
it's an absolute tower because it's coming in. Someone's just holding back, possibly because of an Aries Leo Sag or karmic energy, but it's coming. It's coming. Tell me about the environment. We have Virgo, Hermit in the reverse, and then we have the High Priestess upright, which is Virgo, Pisces um, energy. It's intuition. I feel someone's being guided. Remember, we had intuition. I said that might not be you. Someone is guided to do this. Absolutely guided to do this. And they're going to decide on that. They're going to trust their intuition regardless of what anybody says here. So tell me about the environment. Because whoever this energy of Queen of Swords in the reverse is, I do not feel that it's your energy at all. Because I feel you are the Aquarius literally here. I feel that whoever is speaking against this they're going they're not going to listen to that person yep they choose to unite with you they choose to come out of the woodwork and they follow their intuition very simple so i do like that this is a person who's not going to be led maybe they take into consideration what people say but they are going to go on their own intuition and like I said, it's a manifestation in progress. And it's taken a while for this. So it's a pretty big manifestation. Virgo energy, Virgo Gemini energy, Mercury. It's taken a while, but it, it happened fast once somebody makes up their mind. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. And yeah, look, talk about King of Pentacles. This is the person with all the stuff here. This is the person who's coming in. And I feel that it's going to be for a long, a long while because Ten of Pentacles is, you know, you build a legacy, you build something, um, you build something here. We have the Queen of Cups that's in the reverse, but that's the split. So here, I feel there's going to be a surrender Whatever needs to be surrendered, let go of, is going to happen. And it looks like it's on the side of this earth energy, this person who has money. There's some sort of surrendering. And it's because the Archangel is working with them. Possibly it's, you know, Archangel Michael for me. But it's Sagittarius energy. So there's going to be a release. Last card, Outcome, King of Swords. King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy. Release. We have the King of Swords. All right. There's whatever it is, there's a release and going towards happiness. So whatever is coming in, I feel like if you need to let go of anything, you're going to. I feel like if anybody needs to let go of something to bring this offer in, it's going to happen. Either way, I've got the Eight of Cups twice. And the Eight of Cups is always going to the Nine of Cups, going toward this wish. This is a wish. This is a wish you wanted. And this is what's coming in. If it's family, it's coming in with family. If it's money, it's coming in with money. If it was both, it's coming in as both. It came out in the tarot reading. It came out in the oracle reading. So let's clarify. or not clarify. Let's just get a bonus card. Sometimes there's a little added wisdom. Let's get a bonus card here, and then we'll close out the reading here. I want to thank everybody for showing up. I really appreciate you guys. I love all of you. You guys are special to me. You know that. Give me a card. Right there. <laughs> Raccoon. Inventor. And that's interesting because that's very Aquarian to be the inventor. But it says, decide on what you really want. It's a decision. It's a decision. And it says, you have the ingenuity. I can't say that word. Ingenuity. Ingenuity. There we go. To claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice with integrity. So you have many roles and can jiggle them well. I think you're about ready to enter into a new role. Um, you're about ready to play a new character. And maybe you're going to invent something. There's a butterfly here. There's a transformation. 
So I think there's a big change coming and this is a family. So I think there's changes coming for you, for your family. And it said windfall and that's usually money, maybe even inheritance or something. I don't know guys, but I love you. I'll see you in your next reading. Namaste, my friends.